One of the projects that West Cumbria Rivers Trust have been interested in for a long time is the River Keekle restoration. And a few years ago we approached the team at Woodlands and said can we help, can we get involved in trying to fix this river. And what's happening is you've got a really good example behind me of plastic in the river which is acting like a liner. This whole site uh, up until the early 1990s was an open cast coal mine. And when they finished mining operations, they lined this river with plastic from bank to bank. So it's a little bit like a giant water slide. The idea of that was to stop the river causing erosion through the, the, the reburied mine waste. But unfortunately, it didn't really work very well. And what happened was natural mechanical erosion uh, caused the, the line to split and to rip in places. And that allowed the river to get underneath the plastic and the water cascades and it tumbles over the plastic. It, uh, it erodes the riverbank. That sends a lot of sediment, silt and mud downstream, as well as looking pretty ugly. West Cumber Rivers Trust have secured funding from the uh, European Union and also from the Environment Agency to do a major river restoration project along here. What we're doing in 2019 and also in 2020 will be to remove all of the plastic lining and replace it with stone, with uh, cobbles and gravel and, and those sort of natural uh, materials that you would find in a river and take all the plastic off. A river system will always have sediment. Banks will erode and uh, mud and silt will also deposit. But there's a difference between it happening naturally and then happening very artificially um, and particularly weather like this causes flash flooding and that can cause really quick rapid erosion um, and that will flow downstream into the River Eam. And that's a beautiful, uh, a very very sort of natural river. It's a triple SI and it's an SAC and that means that it's one of Europe's best rivers for uh, salmon but also for freshwater pearl mussels which are very protected species. What's happening here is that the, the key call causes so much erosion, so much sediment gets washed away. That can cause damage to the mussel beds. Obviously that's bad news for the mussels, but that's also bad news for the wider catchment. If we can improve the natural system here on the Kekul, there'll be a knock-on benefit to the River Eam. This should be a really good salmon river, and it's not at the moment. There are trout, and further downstream there are some salmon. But what's happening is you, you get isolated pools that the fish are okay to live in and then you get a stretch of very fast flowing water coming down. You haven't got uh, river plants, you haven't got macrophytes, there aren't many invertebrates, there's not much wildlife in the river itself and so it's not good habitat uh, for salmon and trout. It's, it's really difficult to imagine a, a completely natural system in, in England and particularly in the Lake District. But this river behind us, if, if people had never interfered with it, the, the path of the river may not be very different now. But you'd have much more variety around it. There'd be more plant systems, you'd have macrophytes living in the river, you'd have a variety of trees around it, um, you might have open pasture as well. But what you wouldn't have is, is the monoculture of reeds and grasses that we currently have on this site. The site is only really about 25 years old, so it's quite a good experiment to see how nature is, is colonising and recovering. And it'd be great to see if woodlands can, can maintain the woodlands around us, if we can have more planting, we can have a wider uh, variety of species, that might support more wildlife, more birds. Um, so the knock-on effect is basically uh, an, an increase in the variety of animals and, and, uh, and plants um, and a much more natural habitat around us.